You see that look right there? Don't ever let a man see you like that. Did you give him the power over you? If you gotta take an L, you take it with your head up, chest out, like a man. Make the hard decisions, make the sacrifices, make the unpopular decisions, and become comfortable in your own skin. And if you are not a person that you are comfortable being alone with, that is the one person in this universe that you have full power, full right, and full responsibility to change. If you had to create a human, what would you put them through to make them tough? It probably wouldn't be a really chill life. Yeah. What would you put them through to make them patient? We probably wouldn't give them things immediately. And so it's like we want these traits, but each of the traits has a price tag attached to it. And it's just like, do you want to pay the price tag to get the thing? And so I think if, if people reframed the, the, the period of life that they're going through as the price that they're paying out of their wallet, but the wallet is their time, it's the seconds of life that they're trading for it, then I think more people would be willing to make the trade. Because at least when I look at myself, like when I'm 80 something years old and I'm looking back at my life, I want to have these traits. But in order to have those traits, I know I have to go through these things. And I think for me, that's given me a lot of comfort in hard times. You love this game. I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door, they're just gonna slam it right in our face. I love this game, I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession's gonna be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. Whatever you do, you've got to be a little bit gone to it. You're not all there. You've got to be almost insane to your craft. Mm. Not a lot of people can understand that. That's why I don't know about nothing else. I do not pay attention to nothing else. There was games of football on yesterday, there was rugby, there was this, there was that. And like normal society is like, Let's talk about this and let's, let's engage in this. And I just don't, I can't do it. I just don't, I'm, I, people are talking to me and in my head I'm, I'm counting something. I'm counting up a number or I'm, or I'm knee deep in a sequence on the mat or in, on the feet. That's my life, sequences and numbers, nothing else. I cannot pay attention to nothing else. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, yep. always not doing the right thing, and then one day you're an old man, Yep. and you look back and go, God, I could have been great. And my personal question to you is, why not you? You've got the brains, you can make decisions, you can study the plan, you can change your life, you can grow immensely in the next few years, you can make your dreams come true, you can build a financial wall around your family, nothing can get through. You can become healthy, you can become powerful. Why not you? People don't see that. People will never understand that. To be success, you know, all they think about, well, you bet at 202, you know, and you struck out a certain number of times. Yeah, okay. You know, but the effort was there and the learning curve and the passion was there that has transcended, not just to me, but to other people who are afraid to do things because they're worried about the perception that may come from other places. To me, that's more gratifying uh, than anything, you know. Uh, so that's the things that my father and my mother instilled in me. Take a negative and turn it into a positive. Don't be afraid to fail. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. Um, but life, that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you and you can change it. When this goes online or whatever it is, it really matters and it like really doesn't matter. What matters is 
you know, the people who are sparked by it and the people who are like offended by it, it doesn't fucking matter. Fuck you, you know, like, because it's about motivating the doers. We're not on the stage just because of talent or ability. We're up here because of 4 a.m. We're up here because of two a days or five a days. We're up here because we had a dream and let nothing stand in our way. If anything tried to bring us down, we used it to make us strong. We were never satisfied, never finished, will never be retired. My high school English teacher, Mr. Fisk, he had this beautiful quote and, he, and it read, rest at the end, not in the middle. And I took that to heart. I believe there's time for resting at the end, but for me, that time is not now. To have a dream, sacrifice for it, and never ever rest in the middle. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. You wanna be great? You wanna be the best motherfucker ever at what you do? You could be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there, that's what it takes. When people don't understand you anymore, you've arrived. If you haven't gotten what you want, then you're not worthy of it, period. Now you can admit that you suck and improve. Better to know you're bad for a season than pretend you're good for a lifetime. You're not making as much money as you want because you're not as good as you think you are. You're crazy until you're successful, then you're a genius. I think for a lot of people, when you know, you're grinding as a small channel, people think you're too obsessed, you're a weirdo, stop only making videos, like get a life, be realistic. You're, you know, I mean, people will convince you you're out of your mind for wanting to, to do this. But then once you're successful, they're like, yo, your drive, your tenacity was great. But it's like, yeah, well, where was that back then? You know what I mean? I didn't get that when I was a small channel. It's only delusional until it works. So is it really delusional? Once the world see it, there's nothing delusional about it. Now, your delusion becomes, oh, he was a fucking genius. I tell you, the harder and harder you work in here, the harder and harder it comes to accept failure out there. Second place isn't an option anymore, guys. The more you give in here, the more you get out there. Why would you not want to give it at all? What else are you gonna do? You come here and kill it right now? Or stay home on the couch? You know, watching the light pass by. What else would you be doing right now? Taking the time off? Or taking the time to get ahead? If it doesn't seem so, so easy to you, it's because you don't believe in yourself. If you believe in yourself, you want to be in here killing it. Because it's giving you that much more of a chance because you believe you can come that. Because they don't believe they can ever get there. So therefore, why take the precautionary steps to sharpen and, and, you know, and hone the arsenal to really go to battle? Because they don't even want to go to battle because they know they're going to lose. How do you want to look in the mirror? Every single morning, do you want a positive reinforcement or do you want a negative one to about you today? How do you want people to see you? A lot of times, I'll be in a tourism mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I start to say, what if I can pull this off? It's the what if I can pull off a fucking miracle? What if I can become someone that no one thinks I can be? And just that, just me talking about that, I have the hair going up on my arms. Because it makes me just like, what if? Sometimes you just gotta say things just for what they are. Just for what they are. Passion. Passion is free. Nobody can charge you for passion. Nobody can tell you what passion looks like because that's all about you. Effort, effort is isolated. The reason why effort is isolated because nobody can dictate. Effort is 100% in the mind. No coach, no player, nobody else can make you run to the ball. Nobody else can make you finish the tackle. Nobody else can do it. That's why it's the most isolated things in this earth right now. It's effort. When you finally figure it out, how to win real battles, it's final through fundamentals. That's what wins championships. That's what wins battles. Blocking, tackling, blocking, tackling. And today get tired, because you don't know what tired feels like. Let's face it, it's you against you out there. When you walk on that court, you have to think I am the best guy out there. But here's the fact. All of you have extraordinary capabilities. All of you. You have to decide if you are willing to do the things to put you in that category. Don't put on the show, freaking win the game. Don't put on the show, you win the game. Don't put on the show, you win the game. Don't put on the show, you 
effort you win the game. You don't put on the show, you win. Don't let it get into your head. Don't let him take this from me. And you go in there and you kick his ass, you hear me? You stop being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Damn, Rock, come on! What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! Say blackjack, Vinny. This is it. This is it! You see this guy here staring back at you? Yeah. That's your toughest opponent. Every time you get into the ring, that's who you're going against. I believe that in boxing, and I do believe that in life. Let me tell you something you already know. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Anger is your biggest tool. Fighting angry, that drains you twice as fast. <laughs> yeah, the guy in the ring is your enemy, but make his mistakes be his destruction. Now go out there and show me how you do things. Show me how you live. Show me how you fight. Because I want to be great. And you're not. I want to be one of the greats. You love this game. I mean, love it with your whole heart. Because if you don't, let's not even bother. Let's not open that door. They're just going to slam it right in our face. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession's going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? Is it all you ever think about? I want you to understand the difference between a risk and a gamble. This, what we do here, this is calculated, okay? We weigh the odds, we make a choice. You see that man right there? Do you remember him? You got to block out everything and be in the moment. Not the past, not the future, right now. You have control of this. This belongs to you. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody. Don't let this man control you. Don't let him control you. You got to get real dogish. Now, like I was telling you before, if you want to be ordinary, you ain't even got to listen to me. Just go about your business. Hard times create hard men. Hard men create soft times. Soft times create soft men. Soft men create hard times. If you don't fail, you're not even trying. My wife told me this great expression. To get something you never had, you have to do something you never did. Failure has been achieved, thank God. Now, the only place to go from failure is to win. You have to achieve failure. You have to take it that far. Nobody wants to go that far. It's too scary. But you know something? I got news for you. That's where winning is. It always has been. Nothing's changed. Damn, Rod, come on! What's the matter with you? Tomorrow. Let's do it tomorrow. There is no tomorrow! There is no tomorrow! Les Brown's a motivational speaker. He made an analogy about this. He says, imagine you're on your deathbed and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential. The ghost of the ideas you never acted on. The ghost of the talents you didn't use. And they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? 
and I'm the best ever. I'm the most brutal and vicious and most ruthless champion there's ever been. There's no one can stop me. Lynx is a conqueror. No, I'm Alexander. He's no Alexander. I'm the best ever. There's never been anybody that's ruthless. I'm Sonny Liston. I'm Jack Dempsey. There's no one like me. I'm from Nairclaw. There's no one that can match me. My style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. And I'm just ferocious. I want your heart. I want to eat his children. Praise be to Allah. You have to learn how to fail. A lot of us have big dreams, big goals. And when you have goals that are maybe outside your reach, you have to know that getting to that goal, you're going to have a lot of bad days. So I had to teach myself how to fail right. And what that means is when I fail, I can't spend much time in that fail zone. I have to be able to get up and get after the next day just as fast. I don't have time to stay here and feel bad for myself for weeks and months and years because I'll lose that time. The mud consumed each man till there was nothing visible but our heads. The instructors told us we could leave the mud if only five men would quit. Only five men, just five men, and we could get out of the oppressive cold. Looking around the mud flat, it was apparent that some students were about to give up. It was still over eight hours till the sun came up. Eight more hours of bone chilling cold. The chattering teeth and the shivering moans of the trainees were so loud it was hard to hear anything. And then one voice began to echo through the night. One voice raised in song. One voice became two, and two became three, and before long, everyone in the class was singing. The instructors threatened us with more time in the mud if we kept up the singing, but the singing persisted. And somehow the mud seemed a little warmer, and the wind a little tamer, and the dawn not so far away. If I have learned anything in my time traveling the world, it is the power of hope, the power of one person. Work, 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 work. No results, but I'm a little bit better. Work, 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 work. Work, 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 work. No results, but I'm a little bit better. Work, 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 work. No results, I'm a little bit better. Work, boom, just got paid. I just got paid, <laughs> and it looks like overnight success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, shit, it happened in here. No, bro. It doesn't. The truth in front of you is it sucks. It's painful. It's fucking mind numbing. Because this is what it takes. Creating another voice and sometimes going at it alone. All the time going at it alone because no one's going to believe in you. And that's that. I love this game. I live this game. And there's a thousand other guys waiting in the wings who are obsessed with this game. Obsession is going to be talent every time. You got all the talent in the world, but are you obsessed? When you walk on that court, you have to think, I am the best guy out there. The hardest thing in life is figuring out who you are and what you want to do for the rest of your life. And once you figure that out, you wake up every day and you work toward it. It's impossible for you to fail if you know who you are, what you want to do, and you wake up every day and work toward it. When I seen that Bentley at the boxing gym, and I seen that diamond Rolex, I said, I want that. And I knew what it took. So I know when my opponent is asleep, I'm out there at four or five in the morning, chopping trees, working, to this day. Because I can retire today. I'm well off, very comfortable. But I got the will to win. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. What if we have that kind of attitude? The cars repossess. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. The heaviest things in life aren't iron and gold, but unmade decisions. The reason you are stressed is that you have decisions to make and you're not making them. Embrace the process. And then by the time you get up in years, you can be a man that you're proud of. Okay? So this is just an encouragement to just chill out. Just chill out. Embrace the process. You say, Dwayne, what process? life be the guy who embraces the ugly 
the miserable. Uh, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. He believed in himself, and you can too. You can do anything that that you want. You can get singing lessons, get a better job, make more money. <laughs> you could be even like rich. You could live in a White House someday. You could be president. <laughs> Do what you want to do. It's not up to other people. It's up to you. You're always afraid to take the first step because all you see is every negative thing 10 miles down the road. But you can do anything you want. You are bound by nothing. What are you passionate about? Some of y'all don't want it. That's why you ain't got it. Excuses sound best to the person that's making them up. There's pretty much nothing that you could say that you've went through that I haven't went through and I'm still here. Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Get off the pity potty. Wake your ass up. Awaken the beast inside. Get in shape. Get off the pity potty. What one great thing would you dare to dream if you knew you could not fail? If you knew beyond a shadow of a doubt that you could not fail, what one thing would you set as a goal for yourself? What if you only had six months to live? What would you stop doing? What would you do more of? Who would you spend time with? What is really important to you? 75 years. That's how much time you get if you're lucky. 75 years, 75 winters, 75 springtimes, 75 summers, and 75 autumns. When you look at it like that, it's not a lot of time, is it? Don't waste them. Get your head out of the rat race and forget about the superficial things that preoccupy your existence and get back to what's important now, right now, this very second. You know, if every time someone asks you a question, you try to say the right answer, your entire life is a test. And when did you have the most anxiety in grammar school and high school? No question. On test day. No question. So your entire life become this test. I ain't trying to say the right answer. I am just doing what I feel. My mama said trying is failing. There is no ifs, woulds, coulds, shoulds. It just is. And we just are. I would say ask her out. No matter who she is, whether she's a job or a new city, an opportunity or a fear or a actual person. Whatever she is, man, ask her out. Go out there and make something of yourself for God's sake. Be an honest person and work and get to the top of whatever it is that you want to get to the top of. Stand up for yourself like a respectable human being and be a bit of a light on the world instead of a blight. That might make life worth living. It's like, yeah, it might. So why don't you go do it? The time is now. The time is now to express and for people to believe in themselves. The time is now for it to be okay to be great. People in this world shun people for being great, for being a bright color, for standing out. But the time is now to be okay to be the greatest you. You and I are capable of doing whatever we can see. We can hold it in our head, we can hold it in our hand. Don't waste your life. Set your goals high. Quit thinking about what's wrong. Start thinking what's right. Love a little more, hate a little less. You have no idea what you're capable of doing. Make up your mind today, you're going to figure it out. When you grow up, you tend to get told that the world is the way it is, and your, your life is just to live your life inside the world, try not to bash into the walls too much, uh, uh, try to have a nice family life, uh, have fun, save a little money. But life, th that's a very limited life. Life can be much broader once you discover one simple fact, and that is everything around you that you call life was made up by people that were no smarter than you. Is to shake off this, uh, th this uh, erroneous notion that life is, is there and you're just going to live in it. Versus embrace it, change it, improve it, make your mark upon it. What do you really, really want from your life? If you had no limitations, if you had all the money and all the time and all the talents and all the abilities, if you could do or be or have anything, what would you really want in your life? Yeah, there comes a day, man. Everyone's going to have this day. There comes a day where being average, being mediocre, 
is just sickening to you. It's just sickening. It makes you want to throw up because you've seen people with far less talent than you as you're growing up with them, their childhood buddies, whatever else. They didn't have what you had. Yet now they're fucking to become something that you haven't. There comes that day. It's either when you're young, you know, and, and it strikes you on the baseball field because you're sick of striking out. Or it's it's when you get fired from your fifth job, you know, and your wife and kids are on your ass because you don't know how to support them anymore. There comes a fucking day where push comes to shove. Where being mediocre, being like average and shit just fucking burns. It sucks so much. You can't deal with it one more day and you get off your fucking ass and you create something that's always been there. It's always been inside of you trying to come out, but you've never wanted to unwrap it because it's too much fucking pain and commitment. You were scared you were gonna fail. You were scared if you started, you never finish it. You didn't wanna tell anyone about it. You knew it was there, but you never wanted to embark on it. Get success, remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. Get success, remind you of what you could have been. And then the fucking spark is born. And no matter what happens, I'm never gonna be in this boat again. And you get up and you go, even if it gets knocked down, you just keep going, keep going, you're a wild man. And life has never been so sweet. That can happen at an early age, it can happen at a later age. It's gonna happen to somebody every, you know, no matter what, it's gonna happen to you. And when it does happen to you, thank your lucky stars that finally you're alive. Don't give up. If times are hard, Good things nor bad things last forever. But most generally, we are in control of our own destiny. It is that you're all in. No matter what you do, you're all in. This is gonna kill you. So I think you might as well play the most magnificent game you can while you're waiting. Because do you have anything better to do? Really? Why not pick the best thing possible that you could do? Why not do that? Maybe you could justify your wretched existence to yourself that way. I think you could, because you're more powerful than you think. Way more powerful than you think. I mean, God only knows what you are in the final analysis. You're blind to your own weaknesses, but you're also blind to your own strengths. It's like, how far could you take that? If you stopped wasting time, and if you stopped lying, and if you oriented yourself to to the highest possible good that you could conceive of and you committed to that. How much good could you do? Well, I would say, why don't you find out? It's time to unwrap the potential you can be. Superior, man. It's within you. It's within every single one of us. And the people that have, that have, have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just that they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential, it wasn't about the genetics, it was about the perseverance. And it wasn't about being the hardest fucking worker in the room. That's what got them there, and it didn't happen overnight. They got knocked down more than they ever stood up. But they kept going and kept going and kept going and kept going, because what else is the alternative? To be average again. That sucks, man. I had a difficult childhood, but there's no excuse for people not being able to do what they want to do. You can do anything that you want to do. What do you really, really want from your life? If you had no limitations, if you had all the money and all the time and all the talents and all the abilities, if you could do or be or have anything, what would you really want in your life? I'm gonna have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. You're the backbone of this country. You're the backbone of the world. I don't care if you're in Asia, Africa, Korea, Japan. I don't care where you are, the United States. You are the leaders, the future leaders of this world. Happen. In life, folks, you cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. The, the unfulfilled potential is the story of most people's lives. It is. It is. It, and it could have been the story of mine. And I tell a lot of people, people go, what's your biggest fear in life? 
And my biggest fear, honestly, was, let's say this, let's say, uh, I don't care if you believe in God or not, I don't care. So this, this is play a game with me. Let's say, let's say you're God. And we have a big fucking long line of people. And I made to heaven, I'm 75 years old, I'm 300 pounds, I made to heaven, I worked for Ecolab my entire life, spraying for cockroaches, that's what I did. But I'm dead, I'm in heaven now. And you are at, you're, you're judging us all now. So we're in line, we're all sitting there in line. You have Adam Brown, he has a big board up and you're talking to Adam Brown about his life. And you rip it down and I'm next in line, David Goggins. I see my name and I see all this shit and God goes, hey, you say, read this, man. And I'm reading this list and I'm seeing 182 pounds, Navy SEAL, Ranger School, motivational speaker, changing lives. Okay, man, pull up record, all this shit. And I'm like, that's not me, man. And God looks at me and says, that's who you were supposed to be. I'm always waiting for everything to be perfect before I live my life. I'm always waiting for everything to be perfect before I live my life. As soon as these things line up, I'm going to live my life. Man, I'm so guilty of that. It's not all going to, I'm never going to get to that where everything's okay. Where everything looks a certain way. And in the meantime, I'm burning the best time I do have available. I'm burning that candle up. I'm burning this candle down and I'm saying as soon as it gets bright enough, I'm going to show up. But the candle's getting smaller. Ten years from now, you will surely become someone. The big question is, who? Ten years from now, you will surely arrive. And the question is, where? So to answer the question of where you want to arrive and the kind of person you want to be, you've got to get serious. You think when you're young that you have all this time, you have no time. There's no time. I mean, one of the, one of the quotes on the wall in the gym in there is, there is no tomorrow. From, from, from Rocky 3, you know, there is no tomorrow, fuck that shit. Let's, let's, let's get all this shit done today. Well, someday ain't a day of the week. You know, there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, look on your calendar, someday's not on there. So you, you gotta say, okay, I'm gonna take this small step by here, this small step by there, this small step by there, and then pretty soon, you know, we don't leap tall buildings in a single bound, we take it a floor at a time. Everybody's in their bed, sleep, dreading that it's a Monday. Hey, this a Monday. And I'm loving it. I'm loving that where everybody's getting weaker, I'm getting stronger. It's not about the running, the swimming, the push-ups, the sit-ups. It's about what those things do for your mentality. You don't get better on the daggone couch. You get better by coming out here and getting the fuck after it every daggone day. Greatness is not meant for a few chosen people. It's, it's meant for those who persistently pursue their dreams every day and make that choice when they wake up. So just a mentality, really. Aspirations uh, come from people that do amazing things, but they're really ordinary people just waking up every day doing it, doing the little things that other people aren't doing. So Every morning when you get up, say over and over to yourself, do it now, do it now, do it now, I do it now. Do it now. Whenever you have this tendency to procrastinate, program your subconscious mind with this automatic conditioned command. Do it now. Do it now. Do it now. The best way to fight the demons that chase you in the night is to stop and turn around. Turn around. Face them. Man up. For you to look back on that week with pride. Okay, maybe stop breaking promises to yourself. When you say, I'm going to wake up tomorrow at 7 a.m. and when the option comes to hit the snooze button, don't do it. There's one win that you've got for the day. That's action. The path of the exceptional person is one of an exception, which means that you are not with other people. And rather than fighting that or bemoaning it, 
see it as an indicator that you're on the right path. Because if everyone else were cheering you on, then it means you're not in the right place because it means you're just like everyone else and that's not where you want to be. When you were born, you are a phenomenon. You are unique. Your DNA has never occurred in the history of the universe, going back billions of years. It will never occur in the future. Your life experiences with your parents and everything that you experience in your early years going on up is unique. It's yours. You are one of a kind, right? So that is your source of power. To waste that is just the worst thing you can do in your life. And what, what the power is, is finding that uniqueness. What makes you, you, and how you can mine that, and how you can go deep into it and use that to create a career path. So just go and do it, try, learn from it. You, you know, you'll fail at some things. But that's a learning experience that you need so that you can take that onto the next experience. And don't let people who you may respect uh, and who you believe know what they're talking about, don't let them tell you it can't be done. Because often they will tell you it can't be done and uh, it's just because they don't have the courage to try it. What if I told you this was the last Monday morning of your life? What if I told you you died this week? Would you complain about your crap job or that test you don't want to take? I doubt it. You would go much higher level thinking. If you're not pumped right now, if you're begrudging what you're about to do, if you're, if you're not looking forward to it, look, we're living in a world where there's so much more opportunity. Please, take a step back and think about how awesome it actually is. Recognize that you can attack the world in a totally different way because you were lucky enough to be born during this era. I'm gonna have setbacks, I know. But if I'm feeling bad, that doesn't mean I'm doing bad. That doesn't mean I am bad. That doesn't mean that I can't still take some action. Because, yeah, nothing changes and nothing changes, man. There'll be times where you succeed and there are times that you fail. So waste, wasting your time doubting whether you're going to be successful or not is pointless. It is. I mean, you just put one foot in front of the other. You control what you can't control. And then you see what the outcome is. Right? If you win, great. You're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey over again. If you lose, it sucks. But you're going to have to wake up the next day and do the journey all over again anyway. Right? So it's really pointless to sit here and debate or have doubt or this, that, and the other. You train as hard as you can, and you step out there and you let it flow. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird why are you so anti-social because i'm trying to get it why are you staying on the basketball court so much because i'm trying to get it why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there because i'm trying to get it why are you not clubbing like every time i text you and invite you to go do some fun and cool you always studying because i'm trying to get it let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you're going to fly. Stop running around here trying to live up to the hype, homie. Right now, you guys are sitting there. And to make that first step towards greatness is the hardest step. But there is one thing harder than that, my friends. It's later in life. As you look back on your life, the windows of opportunity has closed. Your ability is no longer present. And you think back and you could have been great. Right now, you had the ability to never have that debate inside your head. That's the debate you can never win. I don't know what dream you have, but I can guarantee you that there's somebody in the hospital right now praying, begging God to have the opportunity that you have right now. Don't blow it. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It is time to go from being counted out to being counted on. An hour lost today is an hour lost forever. In life, there's no time out. You can't raise your hand and stop the clock. It doesn't happen. So instead, I recommend you learn how to flip that switch when you face something that is overwhelming or challenging. You flip that switch that says, go time. 
you don't have forever. Stop acting like it. That's the way life is. You don't have enough time. You got to make time. God told me to tell you, don't pray no more. You don't need to pray. I gave you life. It's precious. You're the one playing with it. You're the one taking it for granted. You getting up late. You got an attitude. You don't feel it. I gave you breath. Use it. Get there early, man. You got all this stuff you want to do and you never say you got enough time. Get there early. No one's there. No one's doing anything in the morning.